Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and more. I can't believe we're into the first week of December already. Where has this year gone? Um, now last year we did a festive theme and I want to try and keep that going this year. So no mood board for this week. Now I know that some of you don't celebrate Christmas and that's absolutely fine. But you know, I thought this might give you some gift ideas going, going forward. Um, so just have fun with it and interpret it in any way you like. Now I'm going to be altering um, three bottles today. Um, I've got this Dowand Egbert's coffee jar so an upcycled project. Um, Poundland in the UK have got more of their light up wine bottles. Um, these are a pound including the, um, let me just take the thing out. They have a, a plastic thing that you need to pull out to get them to work. So if you buy some and you think, oh, it's a dodgy one. No, it isn't. You probably just haven't pulled out the plastic tag. Aren't those gorgeous? And then I've just got um, a glass vase that I picked up from the charity shop. Um, so I'm going to have a go at um, altering these and we'll see what I can come up with. But as I say, just feel free to interpret this in any way you like. Now I want to start off um, with the bottle that I bought from um, Poundland. You can get similar ones to these. Um, I did a whole video um, on altered bottles from Poundland. These are the ones that you could buy this year um, that were clear and they've altered their design um, this year. I actually um, prefer the um, frosted ones I think but I'll leave the um, link to last year's video because that might give you some ideas as well. Um, but I'm going to start off with this one here and I've got a piece of sari fabric now this was sent to me um, from Annie of Love Me Blue and I have got um, a video coming up shortly um, giving you ideas as how to use sari fabrics I promised Annie I would do it because she very very kindly um, sent me um, a gift of, of 20 of her sari fabrics just because I had um, left a review that she was requesting on Google I wasn't expecting anything in return and I was so delighted that I said I would do a video showing um, sharing ideas of how to use it um, so I'm going to use this piece here because it's purple and um, matches this bottle. Now what I am going to do first, um, I want to stiffen this because you know I don't know whether this is silk or polyester or what it is um, but if you use glue you can actually stiffen um, any types of fabric. So I've got um, a watered down mix here of Mod Podge and water, probably two um, parts Mod Podge and one part water and I'm just going to add this over the back of of this piece of sari silk and so I'm doing this one first because of course this is going to take a bit of time to dry. Um, it will harden slightly and just make it easier for me to use for the idea that I have in mind. So I'm just going all the way over the back of this piece of sari silk. I did something similar um, using sari silk earlier on in the year. Um, I think it was for week week one of the ATC and um, the artist trading card project that um, that I did I used a piece of Annie's sorry silk then um, and did a similar kind of technique to uh, stiffen it using glue so we'll just pop this all over and then I'm going to have to set that aside to dry and I can start working on some of the other projects so there we go just um, you know make sure that I've got plenty of glue all all over that that will do that will do fine and then I can just set that aside then to dry. I'm working on a piece of parchment paper, by the way. So I'm just going to move that with the parchment paper and set it off to one side. I've just tried to fiddle around with my lighting because it's gone very dark. Um, it's raining outside and I know that I've got lots of shadows, so I apologise. This is the best I can do, I'm afraid. Um, so I want to work on my second bottle. This is what it looks like. So it's just um, a, a square bottomed glass vase. Um, it's frosted. It's just really sweet. I picked this up for, I think it was 50p from um, the charity shop. And what I am going to do is I'm going to use one of these um, silver snowflakes again. I think this was one that I used, was it last week or the, or the week before? I picked these in a pack um, of nine from Sainsbury's um, supermarket. I think they were £6 for nine in their Christmas decoration um, section. Um, most of our um, grocery stores here in the UK um, carry Christmas decorations at this time of year. Now this of course comes on a hanger and last week I did attempt to cut um, 
this off and I lost two of my snowflakes they completely um, fell apart because I don't know whether you can see that they're sandwiched together in the middle um, and this metal is really stiff but I've had another go because somebody did um, not complain but um, you know said that they thought that I should have cut the the ring off and the only reason I didn't was because um, you know I broke two in the process but I've given it another go and and there we are um, now what I want to do is I want to use some of this very fine silver ribbon I think this is probably um, five millimeter um, ribbon and I've cut two pieces off this measures 25 millimeters I didn't uh, 25 inches sorry I didn't bother to to measure it I've just eyeballed it and I'm just going to poke this through here like that um, and then secure it onto my snowflake um, like like that so there's one side we'll do exactly the same with the other so fold this in half here we go and do the same and this will allow me to secure it to the vase so we'll do the same here so just um, pop that um, through there and secure it like like that so that's um, that's nice and neat and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see where I want that on my vase and I'm just going to wrap it round and tie it at the back so I'll hold that in place flip it over and I'm just going to tie a knot at the back um, and of course because this is tapered there's no need to add any any glue because it would just slide down and, and hold itself in place you could add you know a glue dot um, if you wanted to but you know I really don't think um, if you're doing this kind of thing that there's um, there's any need you could of course add a glue dot just to secure the strings so that they um, hang down nicely and I might do that um, a bit later we'll we'll see um, so that's what we've got to start off with now I just want to add a few more snowflakes using some embossing powder. So I've got a snowflake here from the set that you saw me um, use last week, which was one that I picked up for a pound from the scrap store. And I'm just going to add, let's have a look, we can add a snowflake there like that. Let's just try this to start off with. I've got some silver um, embossing powder and I'm just going to tip, tip that on. And then, of course, you know, I've got some um, embossing powder where I don't want it. Use a paintbrush just to remove any excess that you don't want. I, sh I should have used um, a stamping buddy just to get rid of any stickiness or static um, first. If you were using um, a clear glass bottle, you could have um, used some rubbing alcohol to clean it. But the trouble is, I'm frightened that it would take my etching away. So I'm just going to um, try heat setting this first, just to see how it looks. Now, of course, we don't want to overheat glass because we don't want it to shatter. So I've already heated my heat tool up first, and I'm just going to put it on the lowest setting um, and just heat set that. Um, and it might just take a bit longer but I just think this is a safer way of doing it I love that I think that's so pretty so I just want to add a few more I'm just going to ink my stamp up um, again um, and where shall we have these we'll have one here I think be really careful because of course with it being glass um, it can slip around and then we'll add another one maybe here like that just make sure that you hold it down enough for the embossing ink to grab so this is my finished bottle I just absolutely love the embossing on that it just looks so pretty um, now I want to add some lights to my bottle I've got a box of um, of these bottle lights here they came in a box of, of eight um, I'll leave the link in the description box below I got these from Amazon I think they were six or seven pounds for um, a package of eight might even have been less than that I bought these last year um, that's what they look like now I have painted mine in silver just because I thought it would look better of course I can't do anything about the color of the wire um, but I'm just going to unravel it so I'm just going to unravel it like this I think there are 20 um, lights on this whereas the ones that um, you get from um, the pound shop only have 10 Here we are I've just managed to unravel it and then all you've got to do is just pop it in the top of your bottle like so until you get to the the end of course 
So there's my finished light up bottle. I just think that looks absolutely wonderful. And I think this is perfect for having as a display um, on your table, on your windowsill, giving to your neighbour or a friend if you were going round for a Christmas dinner party. But just how sweet, really gorgeous. Right, okie dokie. So my sari fabric has dried now. And what I want to do is just cut around the shape. Um, and of course, because I've used glue for this, it's not going to fray. So there is method in my madness. Um, so that's why I've done it, just so that, you know, it sort of holds it intact. And I can cut all around the outside just, just like this. So I've cut around my piece of sari fabric and you can see because of the glue that it's all held intact, there's no fraying or anything like that. Now I'm going to glue it on with some Fabri-Tac. So I've got my Fabri-Tac at the ready here and I'm just going to focus on putting it to the edges like, like this. We're going to work quickly because we know that Fabri-Tac um, dries dries quickly anyway. You don't want to go too close to the edge because of course I don't want it spilling over the edges. Apply plenty in the middle just to make sure that that sticks down well. And then I'm just going to apply it in the centre of my bottle. And just press that down like, like that. Here we go, I can use a paper towel as well just to make sure I don't get any additional bits of glue, especially if we're giving these away for presents. We want them to look nice. That's gorgeous. I love that. Um, and of course, because of the purple, it just goes so well with that lovely bottle. So I just want to decorate this one as well and add a little bit more bling. I've got um, a bag of sequins here. They're gold and bronzes and, and that kind of thing. And I'm just going to add some of these using Fabri-Tac um, all over the background of my bottle. So I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac if I can get it to come out and just apply a few blobs like, like this start off with one and see how that sticks and I've got this um, gem picker um, just to make hopefully make life easier for myself it just helps to pick it up and then I can stick stick that down like that and I'm just going to pop a few of these um, randomly I'm going to try and be really random um, about this all over the background of the bottle come on glue out you come The good thing about Fabri-Tac as well, if I get um, a few odd strings, which you can see I've got here, um, it doesn't matter because we can just um, peel it off once it's, um, once it's dry. So I've glued all my sequins on and that's how that looks. Really, really pretty. That's so effective. I'm just going to pop it on here just to protect the sequins because what I want to do now, just to finish it off, I just want to add um, just a tiny bit of... Here we go, let's move it down so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Just a tiny bit of gold ribbon just around the top. Again, I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac for that. And that's that one. Job done. Let me just switch the um, lights on. So, right, let's make a start on this one here. This one has got a bit of glue um, that needs to be removed. Um, I'm just going to scrape it off with my nail and then I'm just going to use um, a little bit of acetone to get rid of any of the residue that's um, still on there. I think I've got um, a little bit of glue here as well. Yes, I have. That one's been a bit more stubborn. But if you just put a little bit of uh, um, acetone, um, rubbing alcohol would probably work for this as well. Just onto a cloth. I'm just using a microfiber cloth here. And, you know, that will just take it off straight, um, straight away. And, you know, if you just want to give um, your jar a clean as well and get rid of any fingerprints that might be on there, um, just rub over that um, as well. I've got a couple of glue marks and that's coming straight, straight off. 
and I'm going to keep this jar really, really simple. I've got some of these snowflake window stickers that I used last year um, and they're just self-adhesive. Um, I've peeled these back so that I can um, already peel them off easily without having to rummage around. Um, I fussy cut um, around them. You can see here that they come in these squares um, these are not quite perfect actually, this is a bit of a bum pack, um, but I've just fussy cut um, around these snowflakes and so this is what, um, what I've ended up with. And so I'm just going to glue these on, I'm going to line it up, there's a line on either side of this mason jar um, and so I'm going to use that as my guide. So we'll start off with the, um, that one there. I've got um, two of um, two different designs. So we've got this one here. So I'm going to take the other one of that design um, and try and line it up on the back. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it. I've got my line again as a guide. So about, about there, there we go. Is that about right? Hmm, it could do with being a bit a bit higher up. So before I press it down, let me just move that up just a just a tad. There we go, that's better. And then I've got these other two designs here. Um, and so I shall space these evenly on the other side. Just get rid of any um, hairs and bits of fluff and, and that kind of thing. So we'll have that one there like that. And then this one on the on the other side. I think that's on the on the inside of the the jar. So there we go. And how cute um, is that? I love these window stickers. I just think they're so much fun, so easy to use. So my snowflakes are all put on um, and I just want to add a few finishing touches. Um, I just want to add some of these metallic enamel dots. I think it was Linda that um, that gave me these in, um, in Happy Mail, but they're absolutely perfect for this. I'm going to secure them down with a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac. Here we go, don't need much, just in the centre of the snowflake. And I think that will just add a touch of colour, just sort of bring it to, to life a little bit. Make sure I've got it in the centre. There we go. You see that just makes a massive, massive difference. So I'm going to add some of these all the way um, around. And then there's just a couple of other bits and pieces and then, then we're done. And then I just want to add um, some ribbon just in the lip here, just to you know finish it off. I tried a wider piece of ribbon, but it just didn't sit right, so it's going to have to be um, the thin one. So in fact, I'll use my hot glue gun for that. I've got it. Um, I've got it here. So I'll add a touch of hot glue, like like that. Which way? This way up. There we are. Press that. Press that in and then I can come all the way around, pull it nice and, uh, and tightly. I can trim that off because that's, that's too, too long. And I think I'll add the glue actually to this side here so that I get it in the right, in the right place. There we are. Try not to burn myself. Linda will be laughing her socks off here now, I guess. Right, there we are. So I've got um, another set of fairy lights and I've painted the top silver again, um, just so that it matches. So I'm going to pop this into my jar. This is a set of fairy lights that I've stolen from one of um, last year's um, pound shop bottles because um, I think the sets of 20 for this size jar would just be too big. I'm going to glue it to the lid. So I'm just using some um, hot glue and I'm just going to glue that onto there like that. And then I just need to let that set um, for a couple of minutes. Now the glue's dry, but you can see um, the glue dot that I put on, um, the dried glue, the hot glue. So I'm just going to use this um, snowflake cutout, um, which will hide it. Um, I've got another one of um, these little sparkly things as well. I'm going to put a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac um, on that and just glue that onto the top and that will hide where um, that hot glue 
is holding um, the little battery in place. How cool is that? So let me just turn these lights on. Oh, that is just so gorgeous. Let's just press it down. Isn't that pretty? I just think that's gorgeous. I love it. Let me just get rid of these um, glue strings as well. So there we go. Another idea for you. So let me see if I can get a good shot um, of these bottles and jars. I'm having to do this by hand. Um, but um, but there they are. Let me just try and hold this steady. What a great use of um, wine bottles, jars and, and vases and that kind of thing that you can pick up from the pound shop or probably um, already have lying around your home. So easy to make. I just love the one with the sari fabric. Um, I'll leave the details to Annie of Love Me Blue because um, I know that some of you have got... Um, copious amounts of um of sari fabrics but annie has an absolute wonderful selection but you know all of these just really simple and easy makes and great for gift giving or just displaying in your own home so i really hope that you enjoyed the video today um and as always if you did i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below i'll leave the link to the bottles i shared last year as well because that will give you more creative um ideas i did manage to find um, a selection of the pound shop um, bottles on Amazon um, for, for you folks um, over in the US um, and I'll leave the link to that in the description box below, uh, below as well so take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now